Right, the um, other day I went to the, my local um, recycling centre and I bought this old um, uh, electric drill stand and I thought it would make a nice precision hand tapping fixture. A hand tapping fixture allows um, precise perpendicular tap to hole alignment plus reduces tap breakage that can easily occur when too much torque or side forces are applied. Now it's a very nice and easy project to make um, on the lathe and requires a very little material to make a good quality um, tapping fixture. Now these drilling stands are very common um, there's a lot on eBay, but you can often find them at car boot sales or whatever or like your local recycling center like I bought this one and um, the drill um, electric drill goes in there and the um, Clamp is locked with an allen bolt through the side here, which clamps that up tight on the drill and this one originally had the handle on there um, for operating the drill up and down just like an ordinary bench drill but you don't need the handle so the first thing I did was um, get a piece of mild steel um, you can have whatever diameter you like around um, say half an inch this one's just under and I um, turned the end and um, die cut um, it's uh, 3 8 uh, times 24 UNF and that's the thread for uh, um, most uh, Jacobs chucks or these um, quick release um, keyless chucks. Next I got a piece of um, 2 inch diameter um, brass bar um, where it's a bar end and faced it off and bored through so that it's a nice fit um, on the spindle like that and I've turned the diameter there and left this uh, at 2 inch um, so that it goes into the drill stand like that and then it can be locked up on the side with the clamp So that's a nice solid fit. Next I've got another piece of bar. Um, this was um, part of the weightlifting bar which already had a knurl on it and it actually happens to be the right size to fit into a die holder like that. And um, through the side of the die holder without the grub screw I drilled a location hole and um, that one goes in there like that. And then the 6mm um, grub screw screws into that um, location hole. And this is also drilled and bored um, down um, to a depth of about just over an inch and um, that's drilled and bored for the actual spindle to go on like that and then I've drilled a hole through there and tapped for six millimeter um, grub screw and again drilled through the side um, into the spindle a little location hole so that one goes on there like that and the grub screw locks into that location hole like that. So then I take the spindle assembly and insert it into the brass bore and push it down through and then screw the chuck onto the end of the spindle like that and I can hold the nails top while screwing the chuck up nice and tightly. 
I've also made a nice shaped handle that goes onto the head of the Allen um, bolt and that's um, glued on there with um, Loctite 638. It has a washer on this side here and that is for adjusting the height of the tool. And this is why I've left the spindle long on this one so that the handle clears the top of the um, drill stand and also the um, die uh, cutting holder just misses the actual um, post of the drill stand. Then I've made another handle um, with a 6mm grub screw in the base there and that one goes on to the die cutting holder or die wrench and put that in the upright position and screw that one on nice and tight and that one is for um, winding the tap in um, which gives you great feel um, over the torque on the tap and saves you from breaking um, small taps so in use you can slacken this handle obviously to get the height you require um, you can move it around um, if you had um, work clamped on this um, table using T-nuts in these slots and you can also use a nice um, engineer's vise on the table and also you can hold the knurled top with the um, die um, cutting wrench and do up the chuck very tight on the tap to save it spinning in the chuck now this piece is already tapped but you can just see by this um, what a great tool this is for getting the tap nice and square in the work um, plus you can also use it for um, very small drilling operations um, so it's a great tool to have in the workshop so like I say these um, drilling stands are quite easy to pick up normally and very cheap to buy and um, you can make yourself a nice quality tool for very little cost um, you can have a um, an actual collet on there if you prefer um, not to have the chuck and um, I think if you make one you'll be very pleased with it it's a very handy tool to have and I've seen um, very expensive um, tapping jigs and this one will do just the same job